unless you're a Gopher fan. Or even if you are, you probably love Bucky Badger or like him a lot. A live, unnamed Badger became a mascot of Wisconsin football in the 1890s. Bucky didn't arrive for another 50 years. I'm Dave Mossner. Welcome to Biking to Bucky on Parade. When the local tourism council worked with local charities to put Bucky on Parade in 2018, I thought riding my bike to see them would be fun. They were on display from May 7th to September 12th. Are you ready? This is my bike, a Volet recumbent made in Stevens Point. It's perfect for rides like this and even longer rides. It took nine trips to see all 85 Buckies. The first slide to start each trip highlights landmarks or stopping points from the first to last Bucky. I started each ride for my home in Verona. The day of the trip is in the lower right corner of the slide and you can check the mileage and how many Buckies we'll see in the upper right. On the Bucky slides, the title is at the top with the parade and current location just below. So here we go. Border Battle honors the oldest Division I football rivalry between Wisconsin and Minnesota. Bucky is holding the current trophy, Paul Bunyan's axe, in his left hand. Under his right arm is the old slab of bacon. It went to the winner from 1930 to 1943 when it disappeared. An intern in the UW Athletic Department found it in 2002. Up the road at the University Ridge Golf Course, Bucky is ready for a day on the links. This is one of five statues sponsored by the Fast Corporation in Sparta, Wisconsin, which produced all the statues. The company's five tie it with artist Dan Gardner for the most Buckies on parade. Kim Marie brought Funky Buckingham to life along with two other statues. Ten artists each did two. She is creative, using a potato masher and bubble wrap to apply paint. WorkSafe Bucky lived in Lakeview Park over the summer of 2018, reminding Badger fans to be careful. He's all set with appropriate footwear, helmet, and safety goggles. This Bucky is inspired by Russian folk art, hand-painted to resemble Russian pottery. Those are usually blue, but this is Bucky, so he has to be red. Karen Lorraine Singer made Jump Around Bucky. She's one of 52 artists with one statue on parade. The other 33 were made by 23 creative people. Here's one of two bike-themed badgers. I like his jersey. It features the bike bridge over Fish Hatchery Road in Fitchburg. Bucky wearing his lab coat in this part of Fitchburg fits right in. There are several biotech firms nearby. I last saw biotech Bucky near the Agora Pavilion on Sherrill Parkway. This ride circles Lake Monona for a 40-mile trip. Let's go! He's wearing a whistle, so you know Bucky's in charge. But personally, I'd feel better about his ability as a lifeguard if he wasn't wearing a life preserver. Some artists include the base in their design. For this Bucky, it's a bike wheel. That's the Stewart Tunnel on his back. You'll find it on the Badger State Trail south of Belleville. It amazes me how each statue shows a different side of Bucky's personality. Farmer Bucky is ready to work, honoring farmers across America's dairy land. The state's unofficial fifth season is construction season. This guy is packed with details, right down to the shovel. Even better, he lived in Schluter Park, across the street from the Monona Bake and Ice Cream Shop. If you look closely, you'll find flamingos on several statues. Hip Buckster captures all things 1970s with peace signs and tie-dye. Across from Oberk Park are the Oberk Gardens, home to Grow Bucky. It displays an entire flower from roots to the sky. Parades are in honor of things and people we cherish. The red hearts represent the love we have for Bucky. The multiple colors surrounding the hearts celebrate the diversity of that love for the Badger. Bucky de los Muertos celebrates the colors, richness, and celebration that is El Dia de los Muertos. An opportunity for those unfamiliar with the celebration to learn about its tradition and culture. Music Man is one of five band-themed statues but there's only one trombone to lead the parade. You could call this guy Isthmus Bucky, but it's between the lakes, celebrating the narrow strip of land that defines Madison. Strike Up the Band Bucky stood on the shores of Lake Monona, home to the annual 4th of July fireworks. The artist accented the dramatic badger with fireworks painted to glow in the dark. Drive up John Nolan Drive in the winter and you'll usually see anglers on the ice of Monona Bay. He is dressed for it, but does he catch and release? Rugby came before football at Wisconsin. It was first played in 1880. 
I posted all my Bucky on Parade pictures to my blog with their stories. All Hands on Bucky was designed by a teacher at the Milwaukee Sign Language School. Her students provided the hands. Even better is that while these kids don't usually make trips to places like Madison, is that they were on hand for the unveiling. Trip three is a big day, 60 miles for six statues. We all fit together stood in Cannery Square. He's covered with origami-like shapes with three tips that fit like a puzzle. Appropriately, he now lives at the Westside Community Services Building. Bucky recognizes deer season. He's one of five by artist Dan Gardner, who submitted his ideas the night before deadline. The Truax campus of Madison College was home to the Bucky of the future, with an intricate mechanical suit and super badger abilities. Broadcast Bucky is ready for air. If you look closely, you'll notice something different about this statue. He's the only one with blue eyes. During the parade, this guy stood on the pier at Hotel Edgewater, bringing the goods for a fish fry, although he is standing on the relish tray. Pieces of Wisconsin features many things we love about our home. Farmers markets, fishing, Sunday drives, there's something for everyone. Ride 4 covers the west side of campus and gets us almost to the halfway point. Did you ever notice the resemblance between Bucky and Coach Alvarez? The sunglasses, vest, and headset sure complete the look. There are two statues on parade that literally break the mold. In uniform, Bucky stops at the top of his step, just as band director Mike Lacrone taught him. A few statues come with Easter eggs, which are something you search for. Blooming Bucky has a ladybug and two ants hidden somewhere, but I never found them. This badger is covered with bright pink birds, honoring the tradition of filling Bascom Hill. Dream Big Bucky welcomes people to the UW hospitals and clinics. Many of the panels on Bucky's pajamas were drawn by children. The great outdoors is important in Wisconsin, and Goodnight Bucky captures the feeling with a VW camper bus and a badger enjoying a fire with a bear under the stars. Major Bucky is the tallest statue thanks to his Shaco hat that adds two feet to his height. Mace in hand, he's ready to lead the band onto the field. This statue combines two animals synonymous with the state, and if you stand in front of the pair, it feels like the Holstein will walk right over you. From another angle, you just hope he keeps moving. The artist of Biotech Bucky ventured from the lab to the skies with Celestial Bucky. It's covered with heavenly bodies and a W accented with glow-in-the-dark paint. It's a big deal to earn a degree from the University of Wisconsin, so much you can't get the cap and gown off this guy. As I dismounted my bike for each statue, I was impressed how artists created a new personality or showed a different side, or inside. Standing in front of Science Hall, Bucky is willing to bear a lot to help kids study. Trip 5 was a special mission for just one statue. Golden Bucky moved each week during the parade, so when I learned he was at the Vilas Zoo, I rode my bike to work so I could pedal over there to see him afterwards. The sixth ride gets us past the halfway point on the hunt for Bucky. This statue is covered in a collage of programs, tickets, newspaper headlines, and pictures. Indeed, we are Bucky. It's no surprise to find the Badger in front of the Cole Center where the band performs for games and its annual spring concert. Bucky speaks for the toughness of the band. As director Lacrone says, they've got to be tough enough to eat a rock. Pucky Bucky reveals a secret about our favorite Badger. He can't see very well. Look closely and you'll notice motion W's over each eye where they sit on his contact lenses. Whether leading cheers or cheering someone up on a visit, Bucky reveals his superpower. This statue captures his alter ego. Perhaps the best location was the Chazen Art Museum where Bucky Come Say Picasso was in residence, inviting passers-by inside to see more of his art. One leg up captures flamingos planted on the hill as Bucky stands on turf from Camp Randall. The Bucky on the Memorial Union Terrace captures all the colors of a summer sunset over Lake Mendota. Bucky can go old school in a no-nonsense uniform and a nice pair of shoes in front of the Red Gym. While the live unnamed Badger was part of football since the 1890s, in 1946, Art Lenz decided drawing the Badger playing football might attract fans. And while there was no official name, he was alternately called Benny, Bernie, Bobby, Bouncy, and Buddy, 
1949, the PEP committee held a contest to name the mascot, and Buckingham U. Badger, or Bucky, was the winner. Bill Chase was the student who submitted the winning name. 1949 was also the first time a paper mache Bucky was created and worn at the homecoming game, starting the tradition of more animated Badgers attending UW sporting events. It's just not game day without a striped pair of bib overalls. Here's a modern version of Bucky the basketball playing Badger, ready to play in front of the Under Armour store. After a stop at State Street Grotz, first and 10 Bucky is all set to play. Bucky can be fashion forward, or maybe he thinks fly means using a jet. This version captures all aspects of the terrace, an iconic starburst chair, sailboat, and dashes of color from the setting sun. Atop a wheel of various Wisconsin cheeses, this badger incorporates some of the Mad City's most loved locations. You've looked under Bucky's skin. Look at what's under his fur. His girlfriend Becky, cousin Badger, even flamingos. This statue takes a vintage postcard and wraps it around Bucky. Put a stamp on him, and he's all set. There's just three trips left, but this is the big one. 26 statues, 25 miles. Bucky Lloyd Wright honors the glasswork and design aesthetics associated with architect Frank Lloyd Wright. You can see yourself in Bucky, literally. It's painted with Cosmochrome by the Insane Paint Shop in Menominee, Michigan, and in Green Bay. I know Bucky statues are made of molded fiberglass, but when I saw this one, it really appeared to be carved out of wood. Bucky is powerful, making his own energy with solar panels on his sunglasses. Ringo isn't named for the Beatle, but Badger hockey player Rob Andringa, a close friend of the artist who recognized his fight against colon cancer. This time, Bucky asked for your autograph. He's covered with 4,000 of them from fans, Coach Bo Ryan, and Chancellor Rebecca Blank. Five Badgers surround the Capitol building. First is this guy wearing an amazing sweater showing our favorite cow in the Driftless area. And who knew Bucky had birthmarks? Bucky embodies the German idea of Gemuschlichkeit, warmth, friendliness, and good cheer. The Madison video game designer Filament Games covered Bucky in triangles so all their employees could help paint Bucky. Every penny is represented on Lucky Bucky, and it has nine Easter eggs on board showing the tail side of the coins. Oh yes, there are 11,759 pennies. That's $117.59. Bucky is a treasure, on guard protecting sites and symbols in the capital. It was made by an art teacher in a Merrill, Wisconsin middle school, so her students were involved from more than 100 miles away. Appropriately, this guy's forever home is the UW School of Veterinary Medicine. American Family is about dreams, and so is their Bucky statue depicting dreams around Dane County. There are five football Buckies. This guy is honoring teams from the 1920s. Kim Marie's third statue is decoupaged in actual sheet music for Bucky's own fifth quarter. Sunburst made news early in the parade when someone or some buddies threw him in Lake Mendota. It took three trips on my bike before I finally found him in James Madison Park. From the park, it was a short trip up the street for another encounter with Golden Bucky. Can you finish this phrase? When you say Wisconsin. A caregiver with UW Health started collecting caps from medication vials because of the various colors and took the medical waste home to convert into art with her daughters. The statue represents guarding against cancer, the foundation of Badger basketball coach Greg Gard, which raises money for cancer research and patient care in the state. Gard's father died after battling brain cancer. Here's another Bucky with an Easter egg, his skin-tight dress has one red sequin. In Philosopher Park, Enlightened Bucky reminds us that without Bucky the academic at the University of Wisconsin, there is no Bucky the sports mascot. Here's another statue where the artist involved Bucky fans by asking visitors to her studio to share inspirational ideas. The editorial cartoonist of the Wisconsin State Journal adds a flourish to his badger, showing Bucky playing on and off campus. Do you think Bucky looks ready to work wearing a tuxedo? Scani Be Good mixes vintage advertising, paper, fabric, and tin letters, plus steampunk sculpture and rustic Adirondack furniture. Beside the Nash emblem, 
there are milk bottle tops, a colander, and a base covered in yardsticks. On the other side of the rotunda, every veteran is a story. The artist used her patch from the 101st Airborne and her friends from the 32nd National Guard Infantry Unit. Across the street at the State Veterans Museum, Bucky wears a uniform put together with the uniforms of the various branches of the military. On Bucky's head are pictures important to Wisconsin veterans. My eighth trip was back to Middleton to see a badger who was hospitalized on my first trip. He's the only statue with the beard and the tools to take care of your leaky plumbing. One statue left who joined the parade in mid-August, the 85th statue. Crazy Legs honors Elroy Hirsch, the kid out of Wausau who brought his distinctive style to Camp Randall in 1941 and 42, joined the military and played in the National Football League before returning to campus as athletic director from 1969 to 87. This is the second statue that breaks the mold so Bucky can strike the Heisman pose. Nine trips, 85 Buckies, 278 miles, and a button saying, I found them all. To read more about them, check out my blog's homepage and then look for the tab, Biking to Bucky on Parade. That's our trip. Time to ride home. So long, and on Wisconsin.